everybody, it's Mr. G. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to make an animated cat gif. This is part one. Uh, we're going to call it a positive meme. So it's like an animated meme. It's, we're going to be able to see it and the text is going to move and change within the picture. And um, so uh, if you're in my class, you have a link to this assignment with these pictures. You don't need these pictures to do this assignment. Okay, so the first thing we need, I, I got cut off there, sorry. First thing we're going to do here is we're going to just find uh, a picture. So the, the, video, the picture I'm going to use is this one right here. So I'm going to right click and copy image. Okay. We are going to make sure that we're going to have a standard size for this particular assignment. So I'm going to hit control V to paste. I'm back in paint.net now. Control V. If it says expand or keep canvas size, I'm actually going to say expand canvas. Okay. And if it says expand canvas, then you're going to leave it like that. And then you're going to go to image, resize, and you're going to make sure that the, the width the largest width is going to be 600, okay? Now, I'm going to do this again just, just so you can see it. I'm going to uh, do this again, but I'm going to go File, New. I'm going to make a bigger picture here, okay? Let's say I paste it in this time, and my uh, I go Control-V, Paste, and let's say it pops in like this. It's smaller than the screen. If it's smaller than the screen and there's a lot of extra white space, I'm going to hit the Crop to Selection button. Okay, and then I'm going to go to image, resize, and I'm going to just set it to 600. It might make it bigger or smaller. Also, you want to make sure this check mark is checked. If it's not checked, you're going to get a, a squished looking picture. Okay, so we've set our size. I'm going to zoom back in using the, uh, I was just doing that with the magnifying glass there at the bottom. And now I've got my cat picture. So I want to come up with my positive meme. So I'm going to add two layers. And the first layer, I'm going to add text. And someone pointed out that the, the font, the true font of a meme would be um, uh, impact. So if you want, you can use impact. I suggest using a font that is easy to read. But you can, you know what? You can use whatever font you want. I'm going to use impact to keep it more meme -y. And I'm going to just, I'm going to just type my first words, hi. And that looks pretty good. I have my caps lock key on, so it's all caps. I might change it to an easier to read font. And to do that, I would turn on my colors um, and to turn on your colors. They're up here in the top right hand corner under my face there. Or you can press F8 if you're on a Windows machine. And I'm going to select white. White looks good. It's really easy to read. So I'm going to leave it with white. So there's my first message. Okay. Then I made another layer. And on this layer, I'm going to type something else like, hi, you're awesome. And I'm spelling it like I think a cat would spell. And then I'm going to turn off the high layer. And I'm going to move the You're Awesome up a little bit using the blue arrow. And I'm on the right layer here. And I'm going to just move it up kind of like that. Or I might make it a little smaller. I might, make, I might change it. I can squeeze the box in like this even. Okay. And uh, hi, You're Awesome. So I've got hi and then You're Awesome. As long as I have those two messages for the first one you're going to make you're going to just kind of make what i make and then you can make your own positive meme using any picture you choose and changing the text up so that you're giving us something that's positive so um here's what i'm going to do i'm going to hit the control d to get rid of my marching ants there and i'm going to very first i'm going to save file save as and i'm going to save this picture into my h drive and you guys have your own h drives and I'm just going to put it in my paint files. And I'm going to call this cat1. And I'm going to change it to a JPEG. Very important to save it as a JPEG. And I'm going to make sure that's selected. And then click Save. And I'm going to say OK to the message that pops up. I'm going to say Flatten. And you can see all my layers just went away. But it's OK because I'm going to hit Control-Z. So if your layers went away, they all squish down, press Control Z, it'll undo that save, but the save still happened. In fact, if you click on the folder icon on your in your Windows machine here or wherever you saved it and you go to the folder you saved it in, okay, and I'll go to my folder, period, oh, where did I save it? Let's see if I can find my, my folder here. Hopefully it's this one. There it is, Cat1. And if I look at thumbnails or large icons, I can even see, there it is, there's the cat. I'm going to leave this window here just so I can see what's happening. So now I'm going to go and turn on layer two, which is high. And I'm going to press Control Shift S. That's save as. And I'm going to switch this. The very first thing I'm going to do is change it to a JPEG. 
and there's cat1, and I'm going to call this cat2, and I'm going to click save. Now watch, I'm going to say OK, and flatten, and if you look at my folder, there's cat2. And finally, hold on, I'll do the next step in just a moment. Sorry, I'm a teacher, and sometimes people walk in my room. So, all right, so we've got our two. There's the cat1, cat2 with the word hi, and then I'm going to go back, control Z, undo, very good, you knew that. I'm going to turn off the layer with hi, turn on the layer with the second message, which is you're awesome, spelled by a cat, obviously not grammatically correct, and control shift S or file save as. But you'll notice right there where it says file save as, it's control shift S. So I like shortcuts, control shift S. It's right by my left hand, control shift S, boom. Okay, and we're going to change it to a what? You're right, JPEG. And we're going to name this cat three because it's the third one in the, what's going to be an animation. And I click save. And I say OK. And I flatten. And there it is. And if I go back and look, you'll see in my folder cat one, cat two, cat three. They're all there. They're all JPEGs. That's going to help us when we do part two, which is when we put them into another program called Pivot and we'll make it so that those pictures, we see it change, and it looks like the text is just appearing on the screen. It's gonna be awesome, you're gonna love it. Hopefully that helped. Uh, have a great day.